everybody, this is Redhead Goes Healthy. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. You are just joining me at the start of a 21 day reset challenge. I'm calling it the Mind, Body, Soul Challenge. The reason I chose that is because I am tired of dieting. I'm tired of restricting myself. I'm tired of saying no to things. Instead, I want to start saying yes to things that are good for me. And the way to do that is to tackle my mind, body, and soul. For today, what I'm gonna do is explain what this challenge is. It's a challenge that I've made up looking at other YouTube videos. There's the 75 hard, there's the 75 medium, 75 soft. So I took some of what I saw there. I took some of what I saw with intermittent fasting videos and I sort of combined them to create something that works for me. And I'm really excited because a lot of you commented on my last video and said that you too were excited about doing something that was similar to this. So I am thrilled that we have a community of people who are interested in bettering themselves like with their mind, their body and their soul, this more holistic approach. So let's talk about what I mean by mind. What am I gonna do for my mind? I'm gonna be reading a book called The Way of Integrity by someone named Martha Beck. All I'm gonna be doing is reading 10 pages a day. That's the goal. For my body, what I'm gonna be doing is gonna be twofold. One's gonna be what I'm putting into my body and then what I'm burning calorie wise, how I'm exercising, how I'm making myself feel good. Let's start with the exercise. My only goal for that, I'm not gonna be specific about the type of exercise. I will be most likely using my Peloton bike just because it's very convenient. What I'm ultimately gonna be doing is making sure that I hit the move goal that I set on my Apple Watch. So right now the move goal is set for 650 calories a day. So my only goal each day is to make sure I hit that number, 650 calories move goal. Now, for those of you who don't have an Apple Watch, that is different from your total calories burned. What is awesome about the Apple Watch is that it gives you both. And typically when I hit 650 calories with the move goal, which is the calories you burn actively throughout the day, I end up total burn calories is anywhere from 2200 to 2500. So my goal when, when I eat is going to be to make sure that I track the calories so that I'm at least hitting that number or I'm at a deficit. So I never wanna go over that number. The second thing is to drink a gallon of water a day. I did purchase one of those gallon water bottles from Amazon. Uh, I'm excited about it. If you're interested in purchasing one, I'll just link it down below. Uh, I think they're just convenient. What I'll do is I'll put it in the refrigerator like the night before so that I have cold water throughout the whole day. And then I will basically pour it into this Camelback water bottle. What is my diet plan? So I'm definitely following a, I don't, I just hate the word diet. I'm following a program that I sort of made up for the next 21 days. So. As you guys know, I was doing keto for a long time. I did a 12 week keto reset. And the thing that I learned about that was that I can do anything. I, like, I didn't think that it was possible to follow keto for 12 weeks. I was just so proud of myself for sticking to that. And I ended up losing about 11 pounds. It was a nice gradual weight loss, which was really nice. Um, but more importantly, it kind of gave me this like mental strength because now I know that I'm capable of doing something that's consistent for a very long period of time. And I'm really, really happy because I'm very close to basically the starting weight of when I started the channel, as I said last time in my video. So now we're at like the starting point again with this. So what I'm gonna be doing is intermittent fasting. I'm not gonna do keto. I've decided that although keto was helpful to me in sort of keeping me satiated throughout the day, I want to put more like whole foods back into my diet that are like complex carbohydrates. I just feel like that's the better lifestyle for me moving forward. So I am following a 16-8 intermittent fasting schedule, which just means that you eat for eight hours of the day and then you fast for 16 hours. So you can kind of choose what you want your eight hour window to be and some of you out there are able to go like nine to five, you eat and then you just don't eat dinner. I can't do that. So I am somebody that likes to eat at night. I'm somebody that enjoys dinner. 
I feel like I can kind of push my eating window to like 3 p.m. every day. And, and I know some of you might be thinking, well, you're gonna be eating at 11 p.m. at night? Like that can't be healthy. I'm not sure if the science supports that, but this is psychological. It's always psychological for me. I'm probably not gonna eat past 10, but if I know that I can, if I know I have the option of eating until 11 p.m. or maybe some days midnight, then I'll be less likely to feel like I'm restricting something. And so the kinds of foods that I went to the grocery store on Saturday and stocked up, here's what I got at the grocery store. Okay, something I've realized about intermittent fasting and those of you who've done it, if you can relate to this at all, I just please comment below because I need to know that I'm not alone in this. I think I have three stages of hunger. Stage number one is this like morning fake hunger. It's a total fake out. I've had this since I was a child where in the morning, really early, I feel like I'm starving and I'm nauseous at the same time. I think it's related to carbohydrate intake like the night before, because when I was doing keto, I didn't really feel this that intensely. But the good news about stage one hunger is that it just goes away after about an hour. Then we have stage two. Stage two is actual hunger. Like, hey, it's time to eat. You should eat. And this is a hard stage to kind of like push past because it, it feels like it's natural to eat. And for me, that would be like breakfast. It'd be like, you know, 11 a.m. breakfast time. So I have to like mentally push past that feeling. <laughs> and then we get to stage three. Stage three hunger is probably like an hour before my fasting window is like done. And I feel all of the bad feelings. I feel hangry. I can't be around other people. I feel like upset. I feel like, why are you doing this to yourself? And it feels if I'm around food, I will like eat the food. And I should say like trigger warning, if you also suffer with eating disorders, intermittent fasting may not be the best thing to do to like try to, to kind of heal yourself from that. But I know that this, this stage can lead to binge eating for me. It can lead to like, oh my God, I'm never gonna have a chance to eat again. I have to like eat, 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 eat and just forget the diet. I have um, done this successfully before. So I know that I know what to look out for. I know the triggers, I know the feelings. And I think part of this challenge is learning to have some like self-discipline when it comes to being that close to not having it. So that's the 16-8. So I'm following that seven days out of the week, but I'm also using something called the 5-2 method. I made that up. <laughs> um, it's really, if you Google it, it's called the 5-2 fast. I said this in my last video, but someone made this up. But the 5-2 method is for five days out of the week, you eat your normal calories. And like I said, because I burn 2,200 to 2,500 calories, I'm allowed to consume that, you know, th that many calories if I want to that day. But for two days out of the week, I am going to reduce my caloric intake by 75%, which means anywhere from 600 calories to let's say 900 calories. Depends on, you know, what I'm doing that day. I feel like I can do it. It's difficult. I cannot have any plans. I can't be around people, but it's only two days out of the week where I'm restricting my caloric intake that much. And you add those two days and then with hopefully some deficits throughout the week, you end up with at least a 3,500 calorie deficit. So overall, my goal is to lose at least three to five pounds in three weeks. Nothing crazy. I'm not going, you know, like over the top here. I'm doing the challenge just so that I can, um, you know, lose a, a little bit of weight, but more importantly, better myself, mind, body, and soul. So the soul is simple. Meditate for five minutes a day, and then also film and edit a YouTube accountability video every day. So for the meditation, what I'm going to do is I will have timestamps for these videos. I am actually going to record myself meditating four or five minutes a day. I will be following a guided meditation on the Peloton app. And if you watch it, you will be able to hear the guided meditation. So feel free to meditate along with me.
If you don't want to meditate with me, I totally understand. You just like click the button and then you just get to a different chunk of the video. But I thought that maybe for those of you who also want to kind of dip your toe into meditation, you could just sit there and meditate with me. I hope you're meditating with me and not just watching me for five minutes because that sounds terrible. So uh, you, you decide what to do with that. So I'm actually gonna be releasing day one tomorrow, even though I am doing all of this today. Didn't want the video to be like a 30 minute long video. So I will see you guys again tomorrow.